Hello and welcome to the production card challenge here at Oren Park. I am here against my better judgment. Uh, if you heard what I had to say at during the rookie Mazda race I did earlier, it uh, didn't go so well last time I tried this. In fact, didn't even make it to the start finish line. So, that stunk, where people were crashing before we even got there, and I could not avoid it, and so I didn't even really get to participate, so. Against my better judgment, I'm back. Let's try this once more. I'm going to spit into this outlap, outlap vigorously trying to warm my tires up, because this thing is just pure evil. Before the tires are warm, it's going to try to kill me. And, you know, maybe if I had qualified better last time I tried this, I wouldn't have been behind the guys who decided to wreck before the race even started. So, really, really going to try to get the tires up to temp and try to get this thing as close to the front as possible. We do have another familiar face in here uh, from the Mazda race. Satoshi, the guy that dominated, and if he has anything close to flag, the speed he had at Laguna Seca here today at Oran Park, okay, he's going to kick our butts into the stratosphere. <laughs> but, well, uh, I'm going to see what I can do. It's still just not as grippy as it needs to be. It takes a couple laps for the tires to get up to tamp. And for me to get up to speed. Some people really, I think, can drive through cold tires much better, but I am just awful at it. So it really hurts when I'm trying to qualify. So I'm really going to try to do okay here. We're going to get a lap in on lap one, push a little harder lap two. About a second off my all-time optimal, one more lap. which actually is not too bad. I, I, I'll live with it if I uh, this ends up being my time. Whew, we got a number three today. I don't know if I mentioned that yet. So expectations are kind of high. We have an interesting spread of classes here. Normally you'll get a buttload of Mazdas, which we do have. And then some Mustangs are usually the second most populous group. But we've only got one Mustang in here today. And I have not seen yet whether they have decided to stick around or not. So we may or may not have any Mustangs to deal with, which is kind of nice. They're usually the biggest headache for the uh, Mazda class. And then a bunch of Solstices in here, which is interesting. We got a nice, I think just a, maybe like seven Solstices. So we'll have themselves a nice race. Cool to see. And I will get a little bit better of a lap here. I feel like I did much better in qualifying this time compared to last time. So hopefully I'll be in front of some of the mess, if at all possible. What do you know, Satoshi on the pole. Maybe we'll learn something watching him. Because he was lightning fast at Laguna Seca. And it's looking like he's pretty darn fast here, too. Oh my, don't get off track, Stereo. Pointless laps, please. Holding P2 for now. Does the Mustang do anything? I'm curious to see if that Mustang will be in here, because if not, we're going to be the lead group. 
which could mean the start looks a whole different, a whole lot different from my last race. My last race, we start our uh, our pace lap right about here, and so they left some room to the Mustangs in the last race. And it went green right about here. So, very interesting. And then two guys crashed into each other, exiting here. And that's where I got into them, because they were sideways all over the track right here. And it was just not really much I could do. So, hey, if we're not even having to wait for Mustangs, we're going to be rolling right away. Maybe not even give them the chance to crash. Now, there's still going to be the plenty of chance for me to crash on my cold tires. Because like I said, this thing is evil for the first couple of laps but once uh once the tires get heated up very happy with the setup major's garage as usual for this series they seem to do an all right job the uh basic setup obviously like for the rookies and stuff is set up for uh less experienced drivers so it's a lot more stable but also a lot slower excuse me so you uh you've got a much more understeering vehicle whereas this one it will spin on you if you're not careful but if you can live through it then you've got a fast car for the rest of the race so that's what i want that's what we all want right fast cars And I'm going to go ahead and pull on over. I'm not going to have much more time to go anyway. And I uh, just want to give a visual on the uh, classes we're going to be seeing out here. So like I said, it's a little different from what you would normally see. So right now we're still P2. One Mustang. Is he still here? He is not. He has decided to leave because he is the automatic winner. <laughs> so... Got that going on. Got all our Mazdas as usual. Two Jettas, they're gonna have a two car race, looks like, the six and the 22. They'll be behind us in the Jettas. And then, oh, less than I remembered, but still five Solstices. So they're gonna have themselves a decent race. And we've been bumped to third by Mr. Wynn. Number two, there, there are really two true on wins in iRacing. <laughs> I don't know how common true on is as a name in Canada, but apparently enough to have two different guys with that name in here. Maybe it could, it could be he just had another account at one point. That happens. But uh, even though we got key three for the Mazdas, pretty close on pace all the way through the top. You know, it's not too far off, pretty much all the way down here until maybe about 12th, where they lose about three tenths. So, no, uh, no huge gaps anywhere. This could be a pretty competitive race. I just hope I get to participate this time. I agree. Nice lap, Satoshi. Look at that. Jesus. Just give him the win. Don't even make him bother. Like, it's just rude making a guy that fast have to actually participate. <laughs> playing around of course but he has proven to be very fast Probably funny we're gonna have all time optimal we're gonna get the fast repair ready because we needed it last time that's for sure and we'll get ready to go here 25 minutes i believe is what it is one of the longer road races i will do frequently on my channel and in general because I upload pretty much everything I race except for the rookie races and even sometimes I upload those but I heard Laguna Seca I might be talking about how Satoshi is taking a break from winning there to start winning here <laughs> All right, got the 10. We're inside there. Car number zero, one in the right column. 
He's leaving a gap, I guess, to the non-existent Mustangs. I don't know. Catch the pace car. About to go green. Stay focused. So we got the row in front of us there. And us on the outside, I guess. Okay, pace car is off. Stay out of trouble. Why are we getting hit? Why would someone hit me right now? There is no reason for that to happen. Oh, green flag, green flag. Seriously? What? What is wrong with people in this series? You just turned into me. And now we're gonna get past the right. Fantastic. Stay on the right. Clear on the left. Oh boy. Well, we still managed to get a 4x before we even started the race. Somehow. And I, I think we actually technically got past the start finish line, so that's an improvement. Like, what is he doing? He just turned into me. This series confuses me with some of the driving, man. We are just trying to survive early on here on cold tires. Come on! Come oh, on, man. <laughs> okay, first of all, I don't know why that guy ran into me. But second of all, I don't know why it was a 4X either, because, I mean, he barely tapped me. And then apparently it's enough for 4X. But whatever. We, uh, we're off and rolling. I don't think it damaged us at all or anything. That's all I can really ask for, I guess. Tires warming up just a little bit. Still can't go full speed, but already feeling much better. Got a little bit of a gap behind us, that's nice. Let's see if it holds much. This corner very scary on the cold tires. I can take this much harder later in the race, but for now, I'm not so interested in spinning. Okay. And I have a tendency to overdrive this corner, so let me try not to do that this race, too. That's so far so good. The leader has just done a I'll try to keep with the couple of guys ahead. Watch Satoshi disappear into the distance. Hopefully be able to pull this thing in for a decent finish. It's a little early we'll be talking about finishing the race, but... That's the goal, right? We have not dropped the 13 behind us. They seem to have pretty good speed. We don't get a notable gap until behind him, where we got four seconds behind to sixth place. And of course, being a multi-class series, we are definitely going to find lap traffic at some point. Not a huge track here at Orn Park, even the full configuration, so definitely going to hit lap traffic eventually. Which is always an adventure. Turn, please. I really was being stubborn and not wanting to turn there. Me overdriving that corner is always, I guess. But it didn't even feel like I did, it just felt like it was like, nah, I don't feel like turning this corner. You're on your own, buddy. Which I say... Darn you, car. Can I start pushing a little bit more now? Feels like the tires are starting to come in. But definitely want to make sure that is true before you send it off into a corner. Go in it! Well, 
pretty good, though. Oh, it's nice to actually still be on track. Hope he's okay. As much, for as much grief I give this series, it is very fun. I enjoy the multi-class racing. Even if it is ugly sometimes, I've had some of my favorite races ever in the series, too. Feast or famine here in the PCC. Okay, Colton, relax, focus. Satoshi hasn't driven away that bad, which is interesting. So we can still see him up there. Could be that uh, draft is helping the our little three car group here keep up to him a little bit better. Gracias, Ricardo. Si se corre. Send it through there for the first time. Felt pretty good. <laughs> Love being able to drive this thing on edge. It's a very fun car to drive. Really enjoy the Mazda. There's a car leading the pit lane. And we're pretty even on pace with the guy ahead who's breaking our draft. I think uh, the two leaders are faster though. Are you kidding me right now? Right side. Clear on the right. You can't just exit the pit whenever you want here. That's ridiculous. Slower class car ahead. That was... I hate that. I was looking forward to racing that guy, but not gonna happen anymore. Right. He becomes a victim of production car challenge. Also known as the production chaos challenge. Also known as the solstice is approaching quickly. Right side. Clear on the right. Eh? I don't know if he was actually intending to let me by there, but he should have been. We'll see if we can finish. Uh, if we can catch up to Mr. Turns right into my car and straight away. We've been in hard there, too hard. Still kind of fast though. But we'd like to take that smoother. This uh this track, as you saw, has a very dangerous pit exit. I don't know what the person designing this track was thinking when they decided to have pit exit on the uh, fastest part of the course, but maybe they had no choice. I don't know anything about track design, but uh, I do know pretty darn dangerous, and unfortunately the guy ahead of us paid the price because of, I think it was the 9 coming out just right in front of him. There we go. That was better. Much smoother in a through turn one there. I think both the people ahead of me are faster. We're gonna do our best to keep up.
That's going to be a bit of a tall order. Down our steer through that corner. I think that was the guy that came out. Another guy. Alright, Colton, 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. I'd like to stay in the guy heads draft, but I think he's slowly moving away. Thankfully, I think we're good behind us. Got almost five seconds back there. a little too soft. Turn one. Lost about a tenth and a half. Ooh, some smoke from the guy ahead. I think I lost him too much time, but probably not a good thing to be doing to the car, if I had to guess. I'd like to push through this corner a bit more. I feel like I'm, I could gain some time there. Put the right sides off the course. Ugh. Messed up that corner too. Way too clunky through there. So it looks like that all culminated into about a tenth gain for the guy ahead. Although we've gained about a second and a half to the guy behind, who I assume must have had some trouble somewhere. To lose that much. We might be in our finishing position here if everything goes according to plan, but uh, lap traffic is not going to make that narrative a guarantee. For better or for worse. Where are we going to catch him? He's a brick wall. That's not what you want to see out of a slow class. Car on your left. Clear. Aggressive there, but don't really have a choice. Did it in a way that I knew I was not going to get into him. Still lose a ton of time. It's just not a great place to catch. There aren't too many good places to catch here, to be honest. Except for maybe the straightaway, which we're about to do here, and gain a bunch of time on the guy ahead. Nice. You're going to get some draft here from the leader of the solstices. Solstai. <laughs> Whatever the plural is. Perfect place to catch him. That is some good luck. It turned one, and suddenly we have reeled him in just a tiny bit. I am really flirting with putting my right sides off the track right there, and as soon as my tires hit the grass there, I am probably going to lose control. So let me not do that. I know I'm trying to get the most I can out of the track here, but uh, spinning through the grass is not the way to do it. Flaggy blue is stupid. This buddy is stupid, it would seem. Someone other than me. Oh, thank you. Ooh, it's taken everything I've got just to maintain pace with the guy ahead. And I'm not even necessarily doing that.
Thank you. Showing how I took that corner that time. Ten minutes remaining. Ten minutes. Plus the left side that time, but it's a pretty fast way of getting through that corner if you do it right. Thanks, Dan. I don't think I did it right, but <laughs> at least I didn't careen off the cliff. Going over that cliff. Sector three times okay. I think that's two different speed racers, or speed racer uh, references I've made today in two separate races. First one being in the 87 race I did earlier. Oh my god, what am I doing? Not paying attention, clearly. Maybe I should stop making references and start driving. Ideally, I should be able to do both as a content creator. Easier said than done. Trying to say other thing, saying things other than blabbering non-words while I'm trying to use my brain to drive. I thought for a second he was going over the pits there. It looked like he was pulling over to the right. Well, I was very confused. That was not the case. 15. It is molten hot in my in this room right now, by the way. Air conditioning still like, deciding to just turn on when it wants to instead of whenever we ask it to via thermostat. I don't know what the problem with this air conditioning is, but... Uh, I'm very sweaty. <laughs> it's not very pleasant, to be honest. Driving away, the 10 is, from me. Don't quite have the same talent as him. I'm doing a, he's having a great race, as the 10, especially. Has a lot of pace, so good for them. Having survived running into me, coming to the green flag. Still gaining behind us. that too soft. It shifted a little early there. What am I doing? You'd think doing the same thing every lap, I would kind of not do things differently. You'd think like, oh, I did it the same the last 20 laps. Why couldn't I do it the same that lap? But I don't know. Sometimes I just do something different, and then I have to ask myself why I did that. There's the fatigue element, I guess. Finishing up 15 laps here in a hot room. That's half fuel. You've used half your fuel. I think my shoulder's not killing me today. I'm having to deal with pain in my left shoulder. But thankfully, it's not bothering me too much today. Got the tan approaching a solstice, who is not even close to letting him by. What is the solstice doing? Let him by if he's catching you on the straightaway, man. Now he's going to spin out. Is he going to come on track right in front of me? Sure, it looks like it. Good thing I anticipated that, because he was going to be right where I was going to be. These people do not know how to do multi-class racing. He's not even racing anyone in his class right now, so there's no reason he shouldn't have let the guy by on the straightaway. 
I lost focus there and took that corner wrong. The fatigue, it's setting in. Anytime I go over that bridge, too, sometimes there's people on the track below. And I hear the engine, and I'm thinking for just a brief second, I'm like, I'm being absolutely sent from somewhere. I don't know where, but a Mazda is approaching me at light speed. And it gives me a mini heart attack. And then my brain kicks in, and it's like, yeah, you just went over the overpass. There's people below you. Five minutes to go. You're looking good for a podium. And then I calm down. But for a brief second, I have a heart palpitation thinking I'm about to get hit. Because you normally don't hear another car unless they're pretty close to you. So, just a sneak peek into the anxiety riddled mind I have going on here. A little sideways on exit there. That was interesting. If uh, my rear tire somewhere is starting to feel some fatigue, along with me. Thank you. Thank you. Definitely feels like the tires uh, are becoming a factor. Just a little bit less speed going through here. Uh, Feels like just a tiny bit less grip. Nowhere near as dangerous it is as it is early in the race on the cold tires, but I have to adjust my braking zones just a little bit to accommodate the changes in the car. The 10 is reaching a solstice at a very good point, it looks like. We are going to reach them at some point in this lap, probably at a less advantageous spot okay, that's all right i uh i can afford to be patient at this point Ooh, I overdrove it. so i was talking about i should have been ready to break earlier as the tires are getting older but i wasn't but uh i'm gonna be able to be patient here because i'm not catching the guy ahead and i don't think behind us are gonna catch us unless i run into the back of a solstice for example so i'm gonna be patient Hopefully catch him in a good spot, but if not, I will wait until I do have a good spot. He's hitting the grass. This might be one of the worst places to catch a solstice on the track. Go away, please. Still there. Give me zero room. We made it. The gap to Ngayan ahead is increasing. It's now 5.0. Take a little earlier. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. So, as I uh, thought earlier, it's looking like a third place of the Mazdas, which I'm happy with as the three ranked car. Ooh, we're a little hard there. Thank you. And uh, I feel like I'm actually uh, gonna finish kind of where I deserve to, which is all I can ever really ask for. Like, if I'm not fast enough to pass the guy I have, then. I don't really not too upset about it. I need to practice more then. It'd be better if I want to do that. As long as I actually got to race this time. Hey, and that's the white flag. As of right now, I'm glad that I have actually been able to participate in this race. I do have some lap traffic ahead. I'm just gonna be mega patient with them. On the last lap here. Not to be. Coming up on a slower car. Sector one is zero point four one off the pace. Seven point three back or so to the next uh, Mazda. Hey, it's brick wall. Unless that's a different brick wall. Seven point 
Is he letting the spy? I cannot tell. Thank you, windshield wipers. I'm oh shit, could have cleared uh, yeah, sorry about that. the solstice of my yeah. screen, but it was not able to do so. <laughs> like I said, doesn't matter. Last lap, we are not going to get caught by anybody. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Good win again, Satoshi. <laughs> Let him know that he has earned it. Good race, guys. All right. So, 4x well from a guy running into us on Four the straightaway. Right. And that's it. No off tracks. No trouble with good job. Very good running job. into... Uh, any slower classes so I will take that I am glad I gave this another try hey Tom sorry about that getting too hot there all right pulling it on over p3 very happy with yeah, that I... sorry called <laughs> good right it's okay we made it. Good racing. I was trying to get to my relt. Oh, I see. Nice. Okay, that's a little more understandable then. He uh, he was just trying to get to his uh, relative. Still probably shouldn't do that, obviously, but it was an accident. So, okay. I forgive him. He was setting up his boxes. So that's why he <laughs> just kind of drifted over into us. But we survived, like I said. And uh, he earned his second place being faster. So, let's see. <laughs> that's funny. Right, first thing we saw. Oof. That could have been so much worse. But we survived. Let's see who didn't in the turn one. Yep. That's... Uh, that guy not holding it down to the inside there. He takes a really weird angle into that little kink before the first real corner, I guess you could call it. I don't know, I'm not trying to decide what's a real and not real corner. You've got an absolute clogged artery going into that corner. <laughs> so many Mazdas and so little space. Whoa. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not back there. There's a lot of uh, scary things going on back here. Solstice puts the right sides into the dirt and spins it. Let's it roll all the way across the track. Looks like there was no one behind them. That's probably why they felt okay to do that. And then they are having some serious issues before finishing lap one. <laughs> Gonna go drive into the lake, maybe. Oh, Arizona T. Ouch! That wreck cost you 99 cents. And then here's a very bad decision. Yeah. I mean, I was not trying to be snarky saying, like, you can't just exit pits whenever you want. Like, some people legitimately don't think about it. Like, they don't know that it's like the uh the racing etiquette thing at a track like this to just sit on pit exit and wait like it's what you have to do because otherwise this is what happens there's nothing other guy can do i mean he can lose a whole bunch of time that's something he could do by slamming on the brakes for the guy but he shouldn't have to do that either he tries his best get out of the way but breaks his car so that's frustrating you know if it's me approaching I probably do take the slam on the brakes approach just because I don't want this to happen to me but you can't exit the pits whenever you want here you just can't and that wreck cost Pablo a lot more than 99 cents that 
was weird. I think the guy, guy ahead was trying to let puzzle pieces by, but... Those are puzzle pieces, right? Oh no, those are Legos! But they were like puzzle pieces. So he's trying to let Legos by. And I guess just didn't let him know. So he let off the gas in front of him. Oof. Brick wall runs through a spun solstice. <laughs> They're running into each other. We've uh, moved along a little bit, though, after some messy first lap. It seems like guys are settling in a little bit better, and we're already on lap 13. So that seems to be the, the common narrative here in these PCC races this week. Is very messy early, but if you can make it past the first couple laps, seems like uh, it gets a little bit better. I assume guys probably spread out a little bit more, and that has a lot to do with the fact that it gets cleaner out here. You just gotta not get 5x before the start finish line and get into a wreck, as I did in the previous race. Solstice into the wall. Guy trying to maximize his uh, first corner up there, and looks like he just uh, faded out to the right a little bit too soon. Hit the pit exit wall. This seems to happen a lot, guys getting their uh, right sides in the grass there, but didn't seem to affect this guy too much. I guess that's probably the fast way to do it. I usually don't push it that far to the right, but maybe there's some speed there if I can ride that fine line a little bit more. Ouch. That guy was never going to make the corner. Talking about before the race, Satoshi kicking our butts into the stratosphere. He just rear-ended that guy into the stratosphere. The number 10, or the number 12 in P10 at the time. Yeah, he was. Uh, he used that guy for brakes right there. He was absolutely not going to make the corner. If uh, that guy wasn't there, he was going in way too hot. I like the color green. It's not like it's not quite like a lime green. I guess it kind of is like a lime green, but it's kind of got a little bit, a little bit darker. I like that color. I guess you could call it a lime green. Maybe he's got like a finish on it in the paint booth or something that makes it. Have it like a different kind of quality. I don't know. Nobody cares what I'm talking about. <laughs> and I guess the race is over. This guy just messing around. I do believe that was it. All right. So this time I made it to the start finish line. <laughs> Got it myself onto the podium looking up at two faster guys. So I can't feel too bad about that. Um, maybe could have ended up fourth had the 11 not experienced someone coming out of the pits. Hard to say. Would have been fun trying to catch up to him. My tires were just starting to come in right about there, so I was going to maybe start reeling them in. I don't know. I felt like we were pretty close on pace, but we'll never know. Um, we, at least, were able to uh, survive, so I enjoyed that race. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed as well, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.